Uh, Cisco with a beat here on the top and bottom line for the fiscal second quarter. EPS, this is adjusted EPS, 84 cents. That's a beat by three cents. It was up 6% year over year. Revenue coming in right in line, 12.7 billion for the quarter. Guidance also looking like a beat for Q3. Full year guidance at the midpoint, also better than expected. Cisco also announcing a $15 billion stock buyback and they're raising the dividend by a penny. That's a 3% increase on the dividend. Looks like the stock is up more than 4%, almost 5% here after hours. Back to you. Okay, Rooney, thanks so much for that. Uh, as you said, up nearly 5%. Don't miss, by the way, tomorrow, exclusive interview with Cisco chairman and CEO Chuck Robbins. That'll be on Squawk in the Street around 9.30. Steph, what's your, your reaction to this one? Thank goodness that they actually finally beat. Um, and uh, the $15 billion buyback is probably better use uh, of their money than buying Splunk, um, in, in my opinion. But we'll have to hear what they have to say about that on the call. Um, the stock is down 15% year to date. It trades at 16 times. It gives you over 2.6% dividend yield. We knew Enterprise was strong from Juniper, from CDW. And we knew backlogs were strong. Um, we, we were concerned, I was concerned, with supply chain issues because they have had supply chain issues for the last couple of quarters. So this is a relief. It's good news. The stock is cheap. And I, I like the enterprise spend recovery stories, as you know, for 2022. Cisco is one of them. Broadcom is another. HPE and IBM, all four of them are based on that theme. And I actually am overweight, uh, all four.